Hey everyone and welcome to the 1.13 overview video. Today, one day early before you get the game tomorrow, including obviously this free update. Reminder, it is for free. It is addition to the base game. So if you do own Planet Zoo yourself, then you will get this update. Well, you can see a bunch of people uh, storming over the street here. Well, no, there is no street and that is one of the first changes in this update. We finally get actual null path. As you can see, there is a normal path with the texture in the background here but it has no curbing as well as this lane over here that people go and use quite a bit um just jumping in and while this is insanely crowded because i put a vista point here so that people came over and they just don't care about the rest of the zoo now whatever vista points are a little bit op never mind we go into the path menu and there is something new as you can tell as soon as i open it you can see the outlines of what is the null path and uh, one thing that's in particular really cool so let me just connect that and see if they finally use this other path as well anyway um, if you go into settings over here, you do have a new drop down down here. It's the highlight hidden barriers. You know that one. This is from obviously the uh, barriers of uh, habitat. But then you also have the hidden path. You can go nearby, all or off. And once you hit off, obviously you can see it's gone. But you can also hover over with your mouse button here. Um, pretty simple stuff. And um, if you do want to have the curbing though on the ground path, it is exactly that. You just go in and you select the curb on ground path, and then you are able to use your path that you I love to know, um, I love to know whatever. I never use these things anyways, but uh, it's super cool. Like for plazas and stuff, this is like a game changer because now you can just build any plaza of your dreams and then um, yeah, you're good to go. Also, if you guys want to see the overview of the pack, the tropical pack, you can also check my channel right now. It is also online. We're going to have a look at all the animals of the scenery and stuff like that. But let's continue with the free update because we also again got a couple of new pieces and foliage pieces in particular. Uh, big thanks to Eben, he's always the one to search for all the stuff and um I'm just going to quickly pause the game here and put these people away because you are in, in the way. So these pieces are new with the game and we don't really know why they always get some weird stuff in. So obviously this wagon wheel, uh, I think it's kind of fitting to the tropical pack. Then we got finally addition for the bicycle. We never had that wheel as such. We always had the front and rear part, but there was a wheel, a single wheel missing. Um, then we have a new rope piece, which is weird. This is the rough rope large and it's not climbable, but you can change it into any color. And it is a different size. Let me just quickly show this to you to the other rope uh, while I just reset the filter so you can see that. Um, so we do obviously have already two different rope pieces in the game. Um, God, I always have to search for them. So you can see this one is also highlighted quite a lot in here. So we do have the normal rope straight. I think two meters is the shortest. There you go. This is the shortest one. And obviously it's a lot longer. The texture is a lot more different. Um, and then we also have the other ones, the North African rope. As you can see, it's also a lot bigger, a lot thicker. And oh my god, now the neighbors just, I don't know what they do, but I hope you didn't hear that, but I just they kind of started, uh, I think, opening the ground, whatever, that was insane. Um, yeah, so this is the rope. We got two more candle pieces. I'm not sure, it seems like they're adding candles every update. This seems to be like a frontier thing, adding adding candles just sneakily in. Um, but that's that, that's in terms of pieces. Then we got a new plant option. Um, I think we start with those ones, because I love them the most. This is the... You just click on it. I can't. Okay. Uh, it's the Kentia palm and we have uh, four of these as you can see um, and I love them. Like, like, look at them. They are super well made. They are also quite tiny. Let me just show you next to the people. So you can do really some cool ground coverage with them and they have a cool texture. They have a nice shape of green. This is very important because some of the other, uh, let me just show you. Um, if we go to tropical, we do have certain other things we can use. Obviously you do spot some of the DLC pieces. We go over them with the DLC but we also do have where are these again just to show you next to it um we've got these ones i'm not the biggest fan of this green by the way and we have the other palm i think it's palm uh, is better yeah this is the lipstick palm tree um again i'm a big fan of this one as well but you can see the green is also very aggressive i mean it needs to be i guess but this one is it just kind of merges in really really nicely and so this is why this is cool then we got another sapling addition this is the uh, cecropia tree sapling we didn't have that one um and simply because this is a huge tree this comes in very handy if you build some uh, smaller houses wink wink you might want to check out my channel today it's not necessarily small though but uh, it's still coming coming in handy 
Um, speaking of which, we also have a whole bunch of new um, uh, Tangled Lianas. And the cool bit about this is they are climbable in a way. <clears throat> I haven't really seen why and how and never seen anyone use that because of the, obviously, of the crazy form they have. I can only imagine that the small ones are climbable, or it is a mistake, I'm not sure. But there is obviously the climbing enabled option, which is also brand new with the update. But I'm going to show this to you with a different example. You can see already the climbing frame in the background. This is one group, as you can tell. And you can enable or disable the entire group, and that is amazing. Let's say this building causes issues over here. Yeah, let's see. And you can see climbing is enabled. And if this building causes issues and you don't want these animals to climb over here, you just de-check this one and it's not climbable anymore. That is really the solution I was hoping for. Makes a whole bunch of sense, and I really do hope that this... Um, works actually because that would help a lot now speaking of works there's one more thing that frontier added which is absolutely a game changer at least in my opinion but we do have a new building option if you press the new advance or actually the advanced move on x you are brought up with the gizmo but our gizmo has changed as you can tell there are some new lines appearing so speaking of this one this one this one this one this one this one so what this kind of square in the middle does it allows you to drag it not only on one but actually on two axes now this comes in very handy if you want to move something on the same layer let's say just a simple example okay we're just going to do this real quick for you guys so you have an idea so I'm building just really quickly I'm building okay let, let me not use that let me use the plaster because this is the most obvious to see one two three blah 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 so let's do that and we're going to add a plaster wall to the background as well let's just do it like so turn around and now we are going to use uh first of all this terrain that's annoying i just to go away okay so um we are going to add some foliage to the ground let's say we are going to use this oh, this, this is way too big okay let's let's use something else uh maybe this aloe vera plant that's kind of nice and we also want to use a plant on the on the on the wall for example and you do want to have it on the same layer always so let's go with the basket fern one of my favorite pieces from the pack just as a little spoiler um and now you want to move them on the according areas without actually needing to you know the old stuff would be like uh uh uh, I want to have it there. Ah, oh, no, I want to... Uh, uh, there, you always have to also move. It's quite a bit of time. Now you can just go and highlight the two axes by moving towards the square. And now you can just move it. And as you can tell, it is always staying on the wall. It's not moving forwards and back. I can see, I can, I can move my mouse however I want, but it's staying on this plane, which is pretty, pretty cool. And the same works, obviously, um, for the other planes as well. So down here, you can just move it here. That's really, really cool. But if you want to say, okay, I want to move it only on this axis, like this one, but more up, you can also do so by just doing that. And then it's going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. It's always staying the same plane, which is really, really, really handy. It, it really is a super option if you are a builder, and that makes a lot of sense. All right, for the last update, we have to check another habitat uh, in here where I have a lot more animals because this is the socialization, I think is how it's called, um, or the sociality update. There is a lot in here to see. I'm just going to quickly pause the game because it's easier to click on these animals. Now, if I do click on one of these wonderful um, black and white rough lemurs and go to social, you can see there's a whole bunch of animals in here and no mating going on. So basically, this is how it used to be. I'm not sure why exactly I wanted to use this as an example because I, I found that they seem to not have any sociality. I'm not sure why. Might be a mistake in the beta we do have. But if we go, for example, to the red ruffed lemur and go to social, you can see there's a lot of new stuff in here. And this is a new icon. This is The status is bonded. And if you go to this one, um, you can obviously go to stud book and then you can uh, see who is the sibling and so on. So you can see who they're bonded to. Um, really cool. And you can obviously always check that. Now, these animals have a status like that but as we also know um, there was also something like outsiders and stuff like that I'm gonna show you something else um, you have to check in bigger habitats because obviously you have to do a couple of things for that but um, I already found that if you go for example to the animals over here and go to the sociality you can see with that one over here this is Xanaya um, bonding status is no because I'm unable to have mates as a beta animal which is obviously <clears throat> this is not the alpha male or the alpha female and so they can't be 
um, having b uh, babies, which is which is interesting because that helps uh, preventing a baby boom like crazy. But it also means there are no more uh, farms for you to have in terms of making albinos or whatnot, um, because that doesn't work. Same goes for this animal, also not the alpha. And uh, so you can go through the group, and this goes into most of them. They have this one. So for example, in here you can see this is Adana as bonded as well as Aitro. And um, if we go, maybe we can check that one. Um, nope, this is Adana, um, bonded with Dodi. So you can see these animals are bonded. So if we check um, on our otters over here, you can see there's yet another info, and this is a bonding status um, in a different way. And this is Marco bonded, obviously, with another animal. And the cool bit is, um, obviously, no, she is Guadalupe, is uh, bonded with Marco. And this is like a little marriage icon, which is kind of cool, because if you hover over here, you can see they are monogamous, which is interesting, because that means they will never have another partner, even though you give them, unless the other one dies. And obviously, their little kid is bonded to them as a family. So this is how it all ties together. It's super interesting. I'm insanely happy that this seems to work quite well. I can't tell you anything about the behavior inside of the habitat. I haven't tested this to an extent that I could really judge it, but I will. I will make like a safari habitat and see how that actually works out. All right, so that's that about the free update. I gotta say, it is really amazing. It might be that Frontier has another surprise in their bags when they fully release the list tomorrow. It's always the same, we get like the early access uh, option and sometimes they just added things on along the way or we give feedback and they change certain things. Um, hopefully one of these things will be in the DLC, but I'm going to talk about this in the other video. One more thing I forgot while I'm seeing that, there is a new toggle for you guys in the Habitat uh, tab. And this is a filter, if you go to property, it says brachiation. That is something new because we didn't have that previously and now you can see there are different pieces that allow for brachiation. As you can tell, the climbable lock is now also available and if you go to nature and you do the same, property, and we go by, down to brachiation, you can see the liana vines give you that option and in construction you can do exactly the same. You just go in, property and brachiation, you won't find a piece. I believe that's a mistake because I found them brachiate on a rope piece as well, but um, that's just me uh, finding that out on my own. I guess um, potentially they do this. And best information, as you can see, the siamang option is still in here. Yes, the siamangs can now also brachiate on other pieces, which is pretty much amazing. So that's that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this overview of the one point. Three, uh, one three update and if you haven't seen anything about the pack I highly recommend to jump over to my other video now and if you're really really into n something new you might keep your eyes on the channel now because there's also going to be a brand new mini series about uh, this new pack and uh, I gotta say it's finally back to original Rudy things that's the only spoiler I'm giving you in case you guys are not um subscribe to the channel yet, uh, please consider doing so because that helps me out a lot. My target is to at least reach 80k after the, you know, two weeks of this pack. Yeah, so that's that. I really hope you guys have a good time. Thank you so much. And also let me know in the comments down below what you like the most about the free update and what's missing. So thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, goodbye.